Hi everybody and welcome to today's painting tutorial. Today's tutorial is going to be a watercolour painting and we're going to be painting peonies in watercolour together step by step and I'm going to show you exactly how to recreate this painting in real time. If you love these type of videos make sure you hit that like button and subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on future videos. I'm trying to post a video every week so make sure you don't miss out. I'm also really excited to share with you guys that I am launching an online painting course. So if that sounds like something that you'd be interested in, then I'll pop the link in the description box and you can go and check out all the course information and see what it's all about. I also have a Patreon page where you get exclusives and behind the scenes access. So again, I'll pop that in the description box and you can come and join us there if you'd like to. But for now, let's get stuck into today's painting tutorial and create these beautiful peonies in watercolour together. So for supplies, you'll need some watercolour paper, a selection of watercolour brushes. I'm using the Zen Art range and I think I'm going to be mostly using the size 3 quarters Cat's Tongue. If that makes any sense to anybody. <laughs> but I will link to all the supplies in the description box. So that's the brush I'll be using and for watercolours I'm going to be using the Mission Gold Class watercolour set. It is a little bit pricey, I'm not going to lie to you, but I, they are the best watercolours I've ever used and I have tried out quite a few. Again, I will link that in the description box and if you feel like treating yourself to some watercolours then these are the ones to go for. And I do also have a jar of water and an old tea towel rag that I'm going to use to dry my brush on. Okay, so let's create our peony watercolour. So first of all, I'm going to create a nice peachy tone that's really light in colour. So I'm going to use a little bit of pink. And I'm going to add some of this orange. And adding a fair bit of water so that there's not too much pigment in there, we're going to start building the peonies. So at the forefront, I'm going to have one here. Then I'm going to have one up here. And one down here. So this is a really lovely brush to use because you can see that the shape of the brush mimics the petals and the, the foliage as well to paint leaves. So this is a really great shaped brush to have. So I'm going to start using the brush to create the shapes of the peony. And because we're going for um, more of an impressionistic flower, rather than having to add all those details, it's in things like the brush strokes that really um, help you put together the fact that it is a peony. So using these brush strokes in this way is really what's going to make quite a difference to your painting. And you can see that I'm just starting from the outside pushing down and gently pulling up till I get a point and that's how we're going to build these petals up. Okay, and whilst that is still wet, I'm going to take some of the pink and I'm going to just bring that in to what we've just put down. And as that dries, those colours are going to blend really nicely together. I 
And I'm going to add hints of that orange as well to keep that pastel colour in there as well. Also, I've just realised that the light is reflecting on the painting, so you might not be able to see it very well. So I'm just going to swap around the painting and the paints, and hopefully that should be a bit better for you. You can also use your brush without any colour on to take away colour as well. So you just want to dab it, dab it on your towel and then use that to also take away colour, which is quite a nice little trick. Okay, so whilst they are drying, let's add in some foliage. So for the foliage, I'm going to add green. And I'm going to add a bit of the pink to that. And I'm also going to add in a bit of blue as well. To get like a dark green with like a silvery tone to it. And firstly, using quite a lot of water to that mixture. So we can start off very light. I'm just going to pop in some of those leaves. So now I'm going to wait for that to completely dry and if your colours bleed into each other like this don't worry just take a clean brush so wash it off in your water and dap it dry and like we said before you can just use the brush to soak up that paint. I kind of like the effect because I think that's why watercolours are great um, but if you don't like that effect then just try not to put anything wet next to each other. Okay, so now that the peonies are mostly dry, I'm going to go in with a round brush size 10. But to be honest, with this stage and layer, you can pretty much use whatever brush that you feel comfortable with. I'm going to go in with some detail, which is why I'm using a pointed brush and one a little bit smaller than the one we were using, using earlier. Um, so first of all, I'm going to take some orangey yellow. And I'm going to pop in the middle of this peony. I don't want to do too much so that it's become overwhelming. Um, but just a little bit. Okay, and whilst that's drying, I'm going to move on to this flower and add, add some detail. So I'm going to take this really lovely rich red and I'm going to use this to add in the centre of the peony. And this is what's going to really bring it to life. Thank you. 
And if you clean your brush out, it can also be nice to just blend some of those out as well. You don't want to blend all of them because it's nice having that contrasted line. You just blend a few of those edges out just to soften it a little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same for this flower. And again, washing off my brush, I'm going to take some of those edges and just soften them a bit. wash off your brush and then I'm going to add some more detail into this flower so bringing in that peachy element just going to use some sweeping brush strokes And if you want to, you can go back into some of the foliage and add some little details. And for the final touch, I think I'm going to add in some more greenery here.
Okay, and I think it's finished. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Make sure to like the video, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. It also really helps the YouTube algorithm to get my videos seen with every like, subscribe and comment. So let me know in the comment section what tutorial you would like to see next. And if you'd like to support the channel even further, I will link to my Patreon page in the description box where you can come and say hi. Tag me in if you post your creations, I'd love to see them and I'll see you in the next video.